Sure. Yes?
No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. What? On it. Damn! What? Right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Time to rumble! Moving down. 
down there. Shoot first and ask questions later. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did.
아주다 뭔가 Yes, what's in your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I may not understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being Barry. I'm just not built that way. Period. You, uh, you haven't done anything yet. But there's no guarantee that you won't do anything in the future. I've been betrayed before by people, and I'm, uh, I'm one of them. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Not all of us have the luxury of a choice. I'm conditioned this way, sorry. galaxy if that's even possible why is whether or not i trust you or anyone so damned important to you what why do you even care we don't have time for this so can we please just drop it for now can we pick it up later if you really must i, I want to get underway welcome to the equipment emporium Because of the Sith quarant. I'm here 
on official Sith business. Don't you just love watching the Kazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazak player on Taurus? <laughs> If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, huh, you know where to find me. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
I saw you are giving a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play him? I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Fazak is not for everyone. It requires both nerve and skill. Perhaps you should practice before risking your credits against such a skilled player as myself. <laughs> Unless you like losing. If you ever... I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Jedi is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Two Fingers. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? I'm Deadeye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Ha ha ha! Can't get over my limit. 
Jesus, go cheese, come on, ho, ho, ho. Cora, ya, pretty, go cola, jiji. Watch out, nature, come back, materia. He, he, a shota, one got one beast, go pick, go yana. Kibona, bona na kacho, kimba mule ratwana, kawupa bote nya gocho chopite, kawa kumpa kulpa hiya mokata. Kimba mule ra, kakincha na kogba kon, kawa kumpa kulpa hiya bote nya. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endar Spire. Akuchi Kopa. Chino Mulera King Paja. Smimo Puiduana. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Tannis dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. Beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Questions? I don't have to answer your questions just because you beat me in the ring. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged attack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. Oh, <laughs> 
とんじょねやはっこのぬれやよむなぜちいちんうえでごあんないたうえしむれねぼうねおがなぷうらごだやみじゅうさあよほのピスとうらじよかくあくちこぱちいのむれやけんぱじゃくスリマポイドアナップジヨカコンモレラキンコンジョフェシャノバモレラジトリヨトランチアイタピアポラウナチメキバモレラスリマワンナコビスティン Ladies and gentlemen Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Tannis dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger! You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you.
this is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger hoax. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth, so I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say, so you might as well move on. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. Is this the end for the long-time bet? 
Is it time for Mal to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Which is waiting in the wings? Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the wild eye wonder finally be unseated? You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bembeck in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while, think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. This cantina isn't the fanciest joint I've ever been in, but it's a good place to unwind after a hard shift at the military base. If you're here to complain about the quarantine, don't waste your breath. There's nothing I can do about it. I just followed your orders. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw... Surely you understand what I'm talking about. <sighs> Who dresses you? You look like you crawled up here from the lower city. Oh well, I guess we can't all have style. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my bullying career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of missed the fight game. 
My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. If you can prove yourself in the ring by beating all these other so-called duelists, I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect the bounty for killing me. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless to me. Up to you. Welcome back. Are you in need of... It will just take me a moment while I examine your injury. Welcome back. It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Welcome back. Of course. He appeared to he endured it all, and ready good, and he behind Borugia. When now for the Gufka, Gloria... Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Gloria, and he behind Borugia. Do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. 
Hachu apanki, jishawa anibon ka sha chona si. Tangabu. Tangabok sha um. Oh! 
Kukumo no babu. Kuya. Back again. Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low.
You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about to run out. So do you want to play again? If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. No problem. Didn't work. Yes? Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long. From what? I, that's all. Oh. 
Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? What does it matter that much? Why can't you just leave it be? I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith, and we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? Uh, of course the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, however, who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Worlder, anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars, it all sounds so... 
so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Well, I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Wait, Upworlder, you can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the... ...infected ones locked away, and when they find... We'll let them destroy each other. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. The Rakgul disease wouldn't be any use now. To risk going into the pens to give them the cure. Transform into Rakgulls and attack them at any... Gates up, Welder. But if the infected ones rock goals, you'll be walking into your grave. Bus, we're infected with the rat ghoul disease. Uh, no! No!
Please, you have to help us. We beg you. The others, please help us. We can't. You, you'll help. Bless you, Upworlder, bless you. But you must. Disease. It is only a matter of time. Into terrible creatures. Like those who came into the pen. It is too late. It will be too late for us. And we will try. Horrible rat ghouls ourselves. Please hurry, Upworlder. With transformation, don't forget about it. If you find any way to cure this disease, come back and help us. Back again? Is there something else you need? Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. You! You come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you! A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too.
No. No, no. no I must be wary. Careful. False savior. Dare Where are you? No. Not an elf. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the Lower City gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so... But I'm the one who runs the store. Yes, the others just bring me... ...these worlders. Why should they get anything? You don't know what it's like down here. Claw and scrape to survive. Me? But Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right.
there. I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rakuls are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! 
You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindor will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rat Ghouls are so near. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? I'm Trellin, from the outcast village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar's the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Goodbye, Upworlder. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalvar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalvar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound.
Yeah. Ready. Huh? Sure. Something growing like disease. No, no, I can feel it. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Never disobey my orders. 
I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out! I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most, Saul. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. Now, I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go.
Hey, Karth, you're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. my father, though you're sure to keep your lectures inside your withered old head. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, that's just what we were doing. Don't... don't move! I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rack ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rack ghouls. ...to those monsters. Candrus, I heard... ...shadows. Sounded like a rack ghoul. Got company. Get those blasters ready. Like this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys, we're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rack ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What are you, an off-worlder? 
Everyone knows Domic. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Becks and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Becks were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. Come on, boys, let's move out. Huh? Yes?
solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. <coughs> Me too. 
wherever Big C goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum den. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. It pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Yes? No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Oh, 
to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you.
What? Hey, Karth, can I... Are you ready to have a civil chat? Tantrum. Tantrum? I'm sure I've heard her. I mean... I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just... It me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. I'll pray about what I said, too. I'm just a little on it. Actually, all we've been through, but... I shouldn't... Take... Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we... You're not just along for the ride. I... Don't you? Nobody's ever said anything. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's no big deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... Oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing.
Sure. Uh-huh. What?
Please don't hurt me. I just serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. Please don't kill me. Yeah, my father owed Davik some Davik killed my father and sold Volker compound to pay off the debt. who were supposed to watch me I fear uh, I'm free to go uh, I don't know how I can thank you uh, I have to be Didn't work.
Ready? Yes? Yes? Watawa mamulira, king kunjo peshak. No ba mulira ji. Joni yo turung ji, we eat a dia. Ola una chinek. Ba mulira, slimo anga kundis king. Tonga bug sham uninong. Wanga kundis king, ba mulira. Chuni yun tun ji ji ai tha do ana kava vol pa mul jui kama na ta kom jus tak miki gravel mogo kachi chu ai tha odonga tul pa da bonk molya gando da nago chut chut moga sham pung pa bola wana chikni ba mul le slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli ra best kachi chu ai tha odonga. In kin kun no ba muli ra chin kun, slim apodona. 
Rundi Hodonga Kun Hunkabi. Takum just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aitha odonga, tulpada bonk molya gando danago chuchut. Moga shampungpa, bolawan na chikni. Bamule slik mo poda na wanga kun beast mulira best. Tong aituam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. Tulpada bonk molya gando danago chuchut. Kachi chu aitha odonga. You malith kain kotun, chilo mulera de ne bobo, mungo kun biskang, bamulara kachi chu aitha odunga, yin kin kun no bamulera chikun, slima podona, rundi odunga kun hunkabi. Konti chani. Mulira ashunk turung umni patoga wanka chone tize. Ikratug hatu chiche ya watayuma kawama huhanek. Sure.
Kuja mi džus kačita, najpa toga je fulki kukula džiči. Kawana bota, a ajut tagwa. Kanki dora tikun muatati mana izabola. Reshik stole that engine from Gadni. It was never yours to begin with. Kavatum pa kunpa jeja moka paata. Bona najkaču. Jim kin kunoba muli rači kun. Tong na bun šanjunjan. Ona čik jomi, ona vota kontitare ti, či čin toma tonka kola jame džua, na, 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 kanki čiki najpotoka, na ona bota. Kači džua i tha odunga, in kin kuno ba muli račin kun, slima podona, rundi odunga kun honka bi. Tonga bug sham uninong, wanga kun bistkin ba mulira. Chuni yun tun jiji ay thaduana, kavavol pa muljui kamana. Mana mana tota, ako jikratuk bola, jishok chonaton chong king no una bank pa mulira kun kili, kun kili no pa. Wata ti manyo kola una no ku mulira. Ui itha na dana itia. Wata yuma kawama huhanek. A shonk turong umnipatoga. Wana kun bes ching pala mul tongi. Smilia, ti ompa do punta krita. Do pa na oto vas kasa. A chuta? Wanga kun bistol piki in kunyana, tong patoga smak telia. Oh. 
Huh? Uh-huh. What? Yes? No problem. Didn't work. What? Gotcha. Darn it. Sure.
No problem. Got it. 